What I'm going to share with you today is a message about a vision for yourself. Proverbs says, where there is no vision, the people will perish. What is the vision for your life? That's the question I want you to ask yourself as I go through my presentation today. Because this is about you. What changes do you want to make? I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to give you some strategies. But ultimately, you get to decide if you want to make any of those changes. One thing that really came to me is you're a 94-year-old company as I was doing my research on your company. You've had to change with the times. You've had to change as new products, new services, new offerings, and new things come out to make yourself better. But we have to do that same thing. And I think with the 2020 vision, what your company is asking you is what changes are you willing to make this next year to get better? And in our relationships, we have to think about that. With our coworkers, with our teammates, how about our family? How can we make those changes when we go home to make those relationships last? I just got a text from a friend that his mother passed away. She had a surgery and was doing well, they thought, and unexpectedly passed away. <clears throat> we don't know when that day is. So the people that's important to your life, connect with them. At lunch, send them a text. If you got a spouse or significant other that's not here that's holding the fort down at home, send them a text and tell them, thank you. I appreciate what you're doing. And if they send back, what, are you sick? Why did you send me this message? <laughs> Say, hey, man, the speaker made us do it. Whatever you want. <laughs> no, you can take credit for it because you did it. But make that choice. Make that difference because you never know when it might change. So the last one comes in all about integration. So integration is about our habits. It's about the disciplines and the change that we need to create. Some of you thought of something that you want to change since I was speaking. Now you've got to decide, are you going to do something about it and make that change? Well, when we decide to make that change, we then can do it by creating those habits and disciplines. If I don't want to get up on the snooze, if I don't want to hit the snooze anymore, I can change that. But I have to make that decision. If I want to change something else in my life, I've just got to take one day at a time and start making those incremental changes, and it's going to make that change. Back when I was on my weight loss, I had to make that change day by day. It didn't happen overnight. Four, four practices. Which one do you need to put in place? Which two? You decide. Is it more energy in your life? Is it more connections? are doing better with those relationships that you have? Is it that influence that you have each and every day? Or do I need to work on some new habits? I need to integrate some new things into my life. Each one of you, you get to choose what it is. Choose it for yourself, but then decide to put that practice in place. And as Mel Robbins said, when you're not gonna do it, say five, four, three, two, one, and just get started.